Bleacher Report ranks Jokic and Murray as the third best duo in the association, despite the fact that they're the first pair of teammates in NBA history to each average 25 plus points, 5 plus assists, and 5 plus boards over the course of an entire playoff run. Even more insanely, casual fans are passionately on board with it. And Murray, like, the reason they won is they also had really substantial contributions from guys three through like eight or nine. It goes without saying not a single duo in league history has ever single-handedly won the chip. It's a team sport. How that's used in an argument against what Nikola and Jamal achieved, dualistically speaking, is sacrilegious. Kendrick Perkins doubled down on his stat padding narrative. The most hilarious receipt from Fox's finest Nick Wrong comes to light as well. We'll look at how five official MVP voters fell victim to an increasingly problematic narrative and dive into the take stating from some why they still have zero respect for the reigning finals MVP, Nikola Jokic. But just 19.3% of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video, it takes a few seconds, it makes a massive difference, and to stay 100% updated on every video I post, follow me on X and Instagram at DFlowHoops. Jamal Murray is someone I've stated in the past to be the best three-level scorer in basketball given how he raises his game when the stakes are inarguably at their highest in the postseason. Since we responded to the backlash of him being ranked as an 84 in 2K way back in this video right here, Ronnie decided to up Blue Arrow's rating to an 88 overall. This still ranks him behind a shocking 26 other NBA players according to the association's one and only video game. I considered ranking Murray amidst the top 10 players in the NBA in this video, so nearly 30 guys being ranked ahead of him, I can tell you firsthand, is inexplicable. Jamal led the playoffs in threes made, averaged over 32 points in the conference finals, 27 in the first round, 25 in the second round, and I'll repeat for the casuals that he's the only player next to LeBron, Magic, and Jordan to average 20 plus points and 10 plus dimes during the NBA Finals. For those who think Murray is simply a playoff performer, gems during the 82 game grind like this spinning triple pivot in the face of the game's best defender Anthony Davis, and this redirection out of a double team with poor spacing leading into back end of the shot clock near 30 foot bailout, prove the contested daggers Blue Arrow would then proceed to make in the playoffs were anything but flukes. When it comes to said playoffs, in three career trips to them, which included a total of 53 games, Murray's posted a higher point per game average than Shaq, Kareem, Westbrook, Malone, Bird, Kyrie, Carmelo, Harden, Wilt, Wade, DeRozan, Kawhi, and T Mac. The 2023 offseason theme of Blue Arrow and this Nuggets team getting stomped on by both conventional and mainstream sources continues. Before getting to the main event with the two most famous Nugget haters in Nick Wrong and Perkins somehow getting even further exposed, here are several official MVP voters straight up admitting they didn't give Jokic the MVP because of voter fatigue. Do you agree with my theory that if not for last year, he would be the MVP? More and than more Jokic? Like, I'm not. Yes. I'm not convinced yeah. it would even yeah. be that dramatic. I said it at the beginning of the year. I thought that voters would look for a reason not to vote for Jokic Correct. this year. Correct. And for him to be a runner-up the last two years and to have answered the call again, I just say to myself, yeah, he deserves it this year. And I think it's the right choice. And I, I said this to House a few days ago. Like, if I look at these last five years, Giannis having two and Jokic having two and Embiid having one kind of feels right for the last five. Like, I, I, I hate bringing past years into the MVP, but if Jokic... If, if, and Yo, if Jokic did not have an MVP award... I'd be fine I with it. I think he would win going yes. away. Former NBA player Gilbert Arenas would claim back in May that the Kendrick Perkins race narrative caused Jokic to quote-unquote back out. Joker backed out. Joker backed out. Do he we back, he do backed out and said, all right, let's... Blah, 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 Did whatever. we give him points for that, though? Who? For Joker scaling it back no, because can't. of the well, no, manipulation. Nuggets he, weren't he first backed place. out because of the manipulation. You can't, you can't scale it back because, you know, if, if he wasn't mentally capable, I mean, just strong enough to say, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I am him. And he's willing to just back out, then fuck it, back out. Motherfucker, I'll take, right. I'll take lead. You're right. Well. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. 
Talking Heads from The Rich Eisen Show would throw shade at Jokic's marketability instead of finding ways to appreciate the fact that he became the first player ever to lead the playoffs in points, boards, and dimes in a single run, plus led the postseason in win shares, offensive win shares, win shares per 48 minutes, assist percentage, value over replacement, box plus minus, and offensive box plus minus. What, name one national commercial you, you've seen Jokic in. Okay. Have, you seen him, have you seen him endorse anything? No. I don't think so. A two-time MVP, could have been a third. Never seen him in the commercial. Once again, maybe he just wants to play basketball. And I get that. And I understand that. But I'm just talking about, man, it's going to be a shame that in 15 years, when he's retired, and then 20 years, we'll, we'll replay his highlights when he goes to the Hall of Fame. Sure. And they'll replay the NBA Finals when Denver goes back in yeah. 10 years or whatever. Hey, you remember this? And they'll see the highlights. Oh, man, remember? Yo, yo get you. Oh, my God. How great he was, whatever. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. <laughs> Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Perkins and Nick wrong. First, we have Perkins doubling down when addressing his stat padding take. Unfortunately, he fails to address his take about MVP voting being racially influenced. My thing was, was that, why, how in the hell with it 30 some games left in the season, we already saying that the MVPs, mm. the MVP race is over. Mm. Like, no, man, we got 30 games left. Joel is balling. Now, like, that is unfair to him. That was my first argument. Like, we're not going to do that. I never said that Jokic wasn't deserving. Now, we get to the stat pattern point. People still talk about that to this day. All I said was, was this. Everybody in the league at some point of their career, including myself, has stat padded. Everybody did stat padded at some point of their career. But lucky for you behind the screen, who's still graceful enough to be watching this video, I saved the biggest inexplicability for last. This comes in the form of a definitively nasty receipt from Nick Wright of Fox Sports. Nick was for God knows whatever reason, tasked with ranking the top 50 players of the last 50 years, and you won't believe who didn't make the cut. Well, actually, you will believe it. And then there's Jokic. And I, when I talked on social media about that I'm doing this project, uh, people were like, oh my God, can't wait to see where you have Jokic ranked. I was like, well, I don't have him ranked. Nick, that's so, un it's not unfair. And I'm not saying Jokic is not going to end up being on all of these lists eventually. But if the world stopped today, he flatly does not have the resume of other guys who didn't make the list. Whether it's Murray's 2K rating, Bleacher Report ranking Denver's duo as the third best in the association, Suns fans backing up why they agree with said ranking, voters admitting to voter fatigue, Gilbert Arenas saying Jokic backed out, Perkins backing up his stat padding narrative, or Nick Wrong exuberantly excluding Jokic out of his top 50, let me know which bit of Denver blasphemy grinds your gears the most down below in the comments section.